great news guys this is my very last function video at least for now i feel like giving an evil cackle at that one um, but as you can see functions are um, super important to me why because they show up so much on the ged test and they're so simple in fact i just had a student facebook on Facebook tell me that they were so glad they watched these videos because they got three function questions on their test so way worth it so let's take a look at this problem here it says which of the following points and we see some points over here in our uh, multiple choice answers which of the following points could be plotted on our graph in order to ensure that the relationship described by the graph is a function. So remember that functions have that faithful x. Each input value, each x value, is mapped to one and only one output value, one y. And so you have a faithful y's on a graph. Now, it'll be easy enough to see here, if you remember back when we were looking at graphs to determine if they were a function, um, a function is something that passes a vertical line test when it's a graph. Um, if it, each input value x is mapped to one output value y, then you'll never be able to catch two points on the same vertical line. So for example, if I drew a vertical line here, there'd only be one point. Same thing here, same thing here, same thing there. Um, but I want to make sure that if I add one of these points, then the same thing's going to be true. Let's take a look. What if we added the point 0, negative 3? So a 0 horizontal movement, but then negative 1, 2, 3 down here. Would it still be a function? Well, no, it would not. It would break that function rule because, look, there's two uh, points with the same x value of 0. They lay on the same vertical line, so they have the same x value. I can't graph that point. Now let's take a look at the point negative 3, 0. Now I'm going negative 3 in the x direction, negative 1, 2, 3, and 0, y, 0 up down. And I can see indeed that there's no other points on this. This must be my answer. Even if you struggled with seeing that, it would be really quick to see that these two would not work. If I tried to go 1, 2, 1 over and 2 up, I would be breaking that function rule. There I am on the same x value on the same vertical line that won't work and same thing with 2 1 1 2 1 I would end up with two points on the same can't do that either okay so obviously negative 3 0 it is and yay you've made it through the function series congratulations